welcome to the season finale of season four inferno this is the heroes of cosplay sanctuary hello everybody and also goodbye everybody season four is coming to a close and this is probably going to be just a little short episode and a recap of things that we'd like to talk to at the end of the season points that we like to talk to at the end of the season and things that will probably be coming up later. There's been so much growth this season versus other seasons, and we have come such a long way from where we started to today. And I want to thank everybody who's been here for that whole journey. And I want to thank everybody who's jumping in and for people who support the show, people who encourage me to keep making more episodes, to keep making more seasons of content. Of course, to my wonderful co-host, Astrovoid cosplay for all of the things that she has been doing in the last four years and all, you know, just the amazing work and the amazing effort that she has put into becoming just a fantastic cosplayers. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you to all of my wonderful guests over the years and all of the connections that I've built with my guests and all the things that we have worked on this season that we will be finishing up with soon before the next season comes out, there will be an Inferno saga trailer video that is being worked on now. And it is an amazing project and I can't wait to start filming on it myself and get all of that out of the way because it's a lot of stress, but it's been very cool. It's been the, the first season where we've been able to do something like that. And it really did build uh, a lot of skills. It really did bring things together and changed a lot of what goes on in the show. So we talk about where we came from, which I really want to do, you know, in season one was called the new 52 and season one, that's where the whole show concept started. And the reason why we called it sanctuary was because heroes in crisis was a storyline that I was interested in looking at and inside of that storyline. And I think I've explained this in the podcast a long time ago, but Sanctuary was a place that was built by like Batman. And it was a space where all of the superheroes and villains could go and basically just like debrief because everything they do is crazy and they don't have anyone to talk to about this. So they kind of go there and it's kind of like a session for them to vent, to be their real selves, to not be these characters, these people who are who are, you know, upstanding members of the community and all these other things. They, they go there and they aren't the superheroes that they feel that they have to be all the time. And that was the kind of the premise of the show is like, I want the cosplayers to come on the show and I want them to share things about what they do and why. What is your why for doing all of this? And that was kind of where I started. And there were going to be 52 episodes, which there were in season one, the new 52. And we started all of that. And man, if you go back and listen to the first episode, on podcast because I didn't I didn't dare put myself on a camera back then. It is rough. It is it is rough. Even the first video where I do put myself on camera is pretty rough. Season two was called Rebirth. There was a good reason for that. It was also still in that DC sort of realm. The first two scenes, like I I like DC and keeping it in that realm was was a lot of fun. And you know it was all about renewal. It was all about changing the focus of the show. And really the focus was storytelling, but the focus was on the guests. Uh, you know myself not being the big prime focus of the show. It was also where we introduced a co-host, Astrophone Cosplay, after she'd been the first guest ever on the show in the first season. We brought her back and she became, she accepted the role of jumping onto the show and being not just a recurring guest, but being somebody who contributes to the content on the show, contributes to the ideation, contributes to what's going on on the show. It's just amazing to see all the growth of all of the cosplayers and the guests that have come on since then. And season two was a really big part of that. And that sort of rebirth, that regrowth, that reboot, so to speak, of the show. So then there was a lot of content that came out after season two. There were a lot of podcasts and it, went a, it got a little overboard. I did a lot of short form. And then season three came along. Season three is called United. And that was kind of the next phase of the show. It didn't really change a whole lot, but season three was aimed at really just bringing together the sort of unified front of cosplayers, talking about, you know, some of those things where cosplayers contribute and help. And it, it wasn't going to be about crafting and cosplays, but it was going to be about the eventuality of the show, this show, helping cosplayers with that behind the scenes stuff. And that's where I started to get the idea about, you know, production company, like let's get into production. Not that I'm like an expert in production, but I 
think that it's really just a fun space. And I think that it would be a really good fit for somebody like myself who just loves to put these things together. Like there is, I, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy making the show. I enjoy the production. I enjoy creating value in production. And I want to share that experience and I want to share that journey with everyone else. And that is where all of that started, you know, being united in what we are creating online in this space that it's about creating. It's not about curating likes and followers. It's not for me, definitely not about that. That can come with the right ideas, with the right things in the right place, the right time. That is what it's all about. But that wasn't the point. And then we got to hear Inferno Saga. And what what happened during Inferno? Well, there was a lot of change in Inferno. And it was named after Chris Claremont's Inferno that it was going to be uh, a lot of controversial topics, which I don't know if we would really consider them all controversial. Certainly things that we haven't talked about before and certainly things that are a bit racy inside of the cosplay community, but that we also did a big project called Inferno and that we are in the process of filming it and completing it and putting it into production and putting it together. And it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. And you know what? If it never happens, it never happens. But I'm not going to say that's never going to happen. Um, I think that we have... We have very good people doing very good things and we have lots of footage and we're going to have lots more. And it's just been, it was a wild ride to do all of it, to coordinate all of it, to storyboard all of it, to put it all together for everybody and to have them want to support it. That was really the best thing about it. And it is a bit of an inferno. <laughs> it, it has been this season, uh, lots of, lots of fires, lots of change, um, not, not necessarily destruction, but there were things that went on and it was a major learning experience and doing the show in general has been a major learning experience. So next season, season five is going to be called something strange. And in season five, I feel like I'm uh, like, like I'm doing like a tech presentation, right? Like we're getting up and we're talking about the new iPhone or something. Season five is going to be a lot of things and we're, we're going to try and make good on all of this and we're going to do location shoots. Okay. We're going to shoot on location. We're going to give it more of a studio feel when we have guests on the show. We're going to put more production value into those episodes for sure. We're still going to have this. It's not me talking, but we're going to have more put into those shoots with guests. So there probably won't be as many guests on the show, but we're going to tie this together at the end of 2024, a long time from now, end of 2024, we're going to hit the 40th anniversary of Ghostbusters, one of the 1984, 2024. We got 40 years, it's been 40 years since that wonderful day when the greatest story ever told about entrepreneurs came out and became a fandom. And it was such a well-written show. It's such a great comedy. And if you don't know it, um, I'll be talking about it a lot coming up next season and talking about another potential project that may be coming down the path, but we will make sure all of that is greenlit and on its way into production before we really check it off and tell you, yes, this is definitely going to be a thing. We are definitely going to New York Comic Con and we are definitely doing these things. So that we are not quite on yet, but guests will definitely be part of the season ongoing, but not just part of the season. It's going to be an ongoing thing. Guests are just going to be coming on the show and being on YouTube. I do want to share everything that they have to say, and I don't want it to have to be tied to a season of content. It is not going to be. The seasons will happen differently and there will be specific things that go on inside of something strange season five, but there will be just content and there will be stories shared and that will be outside of any of these things going on. So while the season's going on, of course, the guests are going to have things to do with the season, but before then, which could be a while, there will be episodes and there will be things that we will talk about. They just will be a little bit farther and fewer between. Of course, that's okay because you don't have to put out millions of things all the time. Again, it's a hobby. <laughs> the show is a hobby, folks. Uh, and you know, it, it took a while to also come to the realization that I do push myself a little bit too hard for what I don't need to push so hard on. So there, there will be some of that. And yes, we, we do want collaborations. There will be some special things going on. It will be very secret and we will not talk about them now, but that's, what's going to happen. There's, you know, just going to be a lot of growth between now and season five for the show, for the content, for all the skills that are going into this. And that is where we are headed. That is where we are heading in cosplay. That is where we are headed. We're not trying to be the best of anything. We are 
just in this space. And we want it to continue to be a safe space for cosplayers to share and promote, talk about things inside of the community. We're not chasing the large accounts, folks. It's always great to have people who have large followings, but that is not what we're doing here. We're not here to just bring celebrities on so we can try and get more people to view the show. It doesn't work very well very often, but that isn't why we're here. We're not here to compete with other established platforms. We're not here to compete with other established YouTube channels. We are here to make the best content that we can. We are here to learn and we are here to grow in all of the fun skills that go into cosplay in general. So thank you so much for being here this season. Thank you for being a part of the Inferno and for tuning into the project. I will hope to have more information for you soon as that is available. And of course, if you're listening to this after the fact, it's not going to be too, you know, you probably just skip over this episode because we've already covered all this stuff. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of the things that have happened over the last few years with the show, Four Seasons. Now, uh, I could say that I've completed, which is more than I ever expected coming in to being a part of this. So thank you so much, everyone. This is Scotty B with Heroes of Cosplay Sanctuary saying we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.